Yeah! This is bad. I'm beat. Let's call it a night. Do you wish to rest? I don't feel particularly tired myself. Don't mind me. Hurry off and slumber.
What's this? How long do you intend to leave me waiting? Wake up! What? You're going to sleep? But I need no sleep myself. Oh, I suppose I'll simply wait. I shall see you tomorrow. Get up, Nanashi! Hey! You awake? Dad says they're holding an emergency video broadcast. Let's get to the association. Dug up Nanashi, Dad. For the last time, I'm boss at work. Starting to sound like a broken record. Can you get it through her head, Nanashi? Enough already, Dad. Jeez. Hold up. Briefing's about to begin. Good morning. This is Fujiwara. This is a critical moment for us. Tokyo is torn between Lucifer, Merkaba, and the Divine Powers. Right now, they're all biding their time, waiting for a moment of weakness. Someone's going to blink, and when that happens, the results will be devastating. Our top priority during all of this is to rescue Flynn as quickly as possible. Therefore, we've agreed to hold a conference with the Angels and Demons. What's going to happen now? Miss Isabeau! She looks like a pro, even in a place like that. So cool. Keep in mind, right now, we speak for all that's left of humanity. The Ashurakai and the Ring of Gaia are currently out of commission and unable to participate. So it's up to the Hunters to take responsibility for whatever is agreed on here. You're wasting our time. Get on with it. Temper, temper, Demon King. I believe introductions are in order, are they not? I think Isabeau is in the best position to introduce you to. <clears throat> I am Isabeau. And along with Flynn, I served as a samurai of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. However, when we arrived in Tokyo, we weren't alone. These men were formerly samurai, just like Flynn. Their names were Walter and Jonathan. One chose to side with demons, and the other angels. They perished to become Lucifer and Merkaba. Wait, those monsters used to fight alongside Flynn? Is everyone from the ceiling a lunatic? No way! That's enough, Isabeau. It matters not who we were. It's true. The humans you once knew are gone.
I am the Lord's Chariot, the Archangel Merkaba. I have no desire to play games. State your terms, demon. This is one hell of a conference. You can say that again. What's the rush, Chariot? I am the Demon Lord Lucifer. You have my sincerest gratitude for agreeing to this meeting. My dear humans, and my nemesis, Merkaba. As you wish, I shall get to the point. I request a ceasefire. A ceasefire? A ceasefire? That can't be true. Is that even possible? Even Lucifer is getting desperate now. So that we may direct our attention to the divine powers, no doubt. Krishna's gathering quite a force of gods and humans under his banner. It is an unfavorable predicament for both of us. Indeed. We cannot simply ignore the divine powers. Very well. I accept your ceasefire. My terms are this. You shall help us defeat the divine powers. I will dispatch my most elite samurai to Tokyo. Warriors of Light, each one chosen in the name of our Lord. And I will lead the people of Tokyo against the Divine Powers. Hold on. Why do we have to work for you? It's only natural. It was my hand that led the evolution of humanity. It is at my feet they shall serve. Like hell we will! Our priority is to rescue Flynn. You can fight them yourselves. Your service is not up for negotiation. Only a human can kill gods and demons. What? When gods and demons meet on the battlefield, the most they can do is seal each other away. Without humans, the war shall never end. The unclean heretics of Tokyo can accept or kill any god they desire. God Slayer is the name we bestow upon man who can kill any being, god or demon. It is for this purpose I granted humanity knowledge and wisdom. Live according to your desires and you shall gain the power to kill a god. Oh, how I adore humans. Something the Lord finds loathsome. Every time this occurred, he has wiped out humanity and recreated it. Humans must serve with unwavering faith. And now you plan on exploiting humanity to eradicate whatever gods are inconvenient to you? The Divine Powers intend to use Flynn as their own Godslayer. People of Tokyo, I command you to take back Flynn. He mustn't be a tool of the Divine Powers. If you cannot retrieve him, kill him. Death must come for him eventually. We're not going to hand over Flynn to the likes of you. We'll rescue Flynn no matter what. You can't manipulate us anymore. <laughs> That's the spirit. Even if you refuse to join us, you'll still be fulfilling my wishes. Go, save Flynn. But first, we must deal with Shaysha. If something isn't done promptly, that monster will wreak havoc on us all. My samurai shall set out to defeat Shesha upon their arrival. You unclean ones must do whatever you can to aid them. Think of it as atonement for your sins. Damn you for toying with us like this!
That's the end of our conference. Everyone will receive their tasks soon. Good luck. I didn't quite catch all that, especially toward the end there. How about you, Nanashi? Am I the only one who's clueless? Whatever. The important thing is that we'll be getting some new quests soon. I'll just catch up later using the hunter notes on my smartphone. Kid. Lucifer, Merkaba, and the Divine Powers might be squabbling over Flynn, but I already have my God Slayer. You. Side with the humans against the powers. Do as I say, and take them out! Let's see here... Wants to find some super strong sword called the Ameno Habanero or something. The other one is... Collecting materials for the Ashurakai. Huh. Which should we do first? That quest, huh? All right. Says here the sword's supposed to be in the fairy forest. Looks like we'll get to pay Nozomi a visit. I hope we see each other alive again.
How's that? This is the Ueno Terminal. Activating transport. Transport complete. Would anyone do this? Look, there's Nozomi. Nozomi, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. What happened here? Don't know. Went out to snap some photos. When I came back, this is what I found. Did I... fail the fairies? Ah, this smacks of the divine powers doing. Must have intercepted the hunter request. No doubt they wanted to keep human hands from getting hold of Amino Habakiri. Amino Habakiri? That's called Excalibur here. Powers must be after the sword. No time for rest, Nozomi. You're the Fairy Queen. I'm coming with you guys. <laughs> Leave it to me.
Turn. How about this? On to new heights! Fire. Behold my heroism! <laughs> Amazing, right? Gate. What a mess. The divine powers must be farther ahead. Napaya! I'm so glad you're safe. It was the divine powers! They attacked out of nowhere! We did nothing to them! Where are the others? Here. 
I'll hang back. Protect the fairies left behind. You guys deal with whoever did this. If they're after Excalibur, they'll be heading to Northern Lake Hill. You'll find the sword at the bottom of the lake there. Pardon me, but do you not think us too late? Getting there is easier said than done. To reach the lake, you have to get through the maze garden. No one gets through that without knowing the exact way out. How are we supposed to get through then? Just past the center gate is a chest. In it, there's a scroll with instructions. Follow those to the letter, and you'll get through the maze no problem. I'll join you as soon as all the fairies are safe. I'm counting on you. <laughs> we can't let the divine powers get away with this, Nanashi. Let's go! A great honor. Not bad, I'd say. Dog duck. My servant! must be the instructions. Of course it's some kind of puzzle. I'll stash it with the rest of our valuables.
Not bad, I'd say. Welcome. What is your wish? Be careful. Not too bad. You're in good hands! Leave it to me! On to new heights! Onward! Let's go, Nanashi!
dog done.
No hibachi grill or whatever's got to be near. Watch your back, kid. Something tells me the divine powers are waiting for us. And there's no way they'll let us take that blade without a fight. Time to shine! You're in good hands! Amazing, right?
job done. The pawns arrive. I am Titan of the Divine Powers. I knew you'd come. I'm afraid I can't allow the likes of you to wield Ameno Habakiri. You could have taken the sword without attacking the forest. Why'd you do it? I don't need a reason. It was in my way. You burned down the fairy's home for fun? You're a monster. Like I care what you think. The will of the Divine Powers is law. Know your place. I cannot permit allegiance with the Creator God over the Divine Powers. The Divine Powers will not forgive the Creator. You will not stop me, humans. Still a samurai.
to me. On to new heights! You're in good hands! Alright, feeling good! Oh? Still a samurai. You child. to withdraw. It is short-sighted to trust your enemy. Why would I ever beg to a human? You will die regretting your foolishness. The divine powers will put your souls to good use, though. or Excalibur!
A fine sword. More worthy of my scabbard, but you can have it this time. Another quest completed! Hey, how are things going? Nozomi, we found Excalibur! Good work. Glad you're all safe. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Managed to get the fairies someplace safe. Hmm. <laughs> You've certainly livened up. Well, being down doesn't get you anywhere. All right. Let me walk you to the forest entrance. Nozomi, wait. I'd like to address the group. Do you know what the divine powers hope to achieve? Something about salvation, right? And do you know what their salvation is? Now that I think about it, no. They wish to take over the universe. What? Why? The Creator God shaped this universe, but only after defeating us ancient deities. I suspect the Divine Powers seek revenge by wresting control of the universe and claiming dominion over the humans. And what happens to us? I am, of course, not privy to their plans. But I think we can safely assume that... Humans will die. They plan to destroy this universe and take its souls to a new one they control. But without souls, your bodies will die. How is that salvation? No one could possibly want that! The Divine Powers are projecting their own desires for a fresh start onto humanity. Are you not one of the Divine Powers yourself, Dogda? Please, Mother. I haven't truly joined their ranks. How do you mean? They're just another set of pieces in a much larger game I'm playing. After they create a new universe, I will take it. Then, I will regain my true form. This is worth sacrificing the world for. Of course. The inescapable truth under all life's lies is that this universe is worthless.
Gods, demons, humans, Buddhas, praetors. I will wipe everything from existence. That's horrible. Are you insane? If I am, I've been so from the beginning of my existence and will be to the end. To think that I could give birth to such a horror. Yes, perhaps the Creator God holds humanity back from its full potential. As Krishna said, slaves to their own bodies and prisoners of this universe. But it's still life. This world is one of beauty, blessed with bountiful nature and wonderful creatures. It's worth working together to protect. Agree to disagree, my foolish mother. Ignore her, my god slayer. Relying on others is a joke. Let go of all that. Break free from the shackles of humanity and become more. Become something that shapes the world. I will help you reach true freedom in a new universe untethered from dependencies. So you play with him like a chess piece, solely to win your little game. Game? This is something he chose. Accepting death or resurrect as my god slayer. Though I suppose it's up for debate whether he truly had a choice. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Accepting death? Resurrection? Are you saying Nanashi? Yes. I'm afraid he's not quite human. Not anymore. <gasps> no longer human. Not angel. Not demon. He is... My puppet. A puppet? Nanashi, you... you're dead? A day might come, my son, when I have to put a stop to you myself. A slave to the status quo like you could never hope to best me, mother. Let's just hope that day never comes. You're sharing your body with a real pain in the ass. You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm crying. You're still the same, right, Nanashi? You haven't changed any. All this gods and demons stuff, I never thought it would change us. And now here I am, learning that you've died. That you aren't even human anymore. It just doesn't make any sense. Nanashi's alive! He's right here! Why? Come on now. Don't cry. It's okay. Everything will be okay. He's still himself where it matters most, no matter what he's become. You've known him your whole life, right? If anyone could tell he's changed, it'd be you. So please, don't cry. <laughs> About what Danu said earlier, she and I share more than just my body. I agree with her about the divine powers 100%, and that Dogda's ideas are dangerous. But what does that mean for Nanashi? Are you saying you might have to kill him? Well, I don't know. I suppose that's the worst case scenario. <gasps> but that's why you should take me with you, to make sure that doesn't happen. We need to work together. 
Keep this universe of ours safe. And while we're at it, we'll make sure Dogda doesn't steer you wrong. The more the merrier. A fairy queen's got certain obligations and responsibilities. That means getting to the bottom of this. Gotta make sure the forest stays safe. Ain't no one gonna hurt the fairies. Not on my watch. Well, best be on our way. Hello. So, now you understand how Dogda and Danu intend to reshape the world. Dogda wishes for absolute freedom of his own creation. Danu wishes to cultivate a freedom with others. They may not agree with each other. Still, their ideals are in opposition to both the angels and the demons. Both ways are the middle path. But there is more than one path. Walk your own. I'll be watching over you no matter what. Who is that? No clue. Just know his name's Steven. Right. Well, guessing won't get us anywhere. Well, let's just put that mystery on the back burner for now and get out of here. the next quest. First step is to swing by Kasumi Gasaki for more info. Lead the way, Nanashi! Yeah. <laughs> 